The life, art, and music of Cuba is coming to life like never before here in the Bay Area. The Tampa Museum of Art has a couple of events to invite you to, and here to do that is Michael Tomar. Or Tomar, good morning. Welcome back. Good morning. Glad to be here. This is exciting stuff. It and is. especially, this is such a time where I think people are so hungry to learn more about Cuba and to really kind of get a feel for, I love it, as I said, kind of the art, the music, yeah. the lifestyle. Yeah, it's, it's really a great time for us to have this beautiful exhibition on view. It's called Complicated View. Beauty. We have over 40 pieces by 25 contemporary living artists that are Why working in Cuba. Why is it complicated? Well, because I think some of the messaging is is both beautiful and mysterious mm -hmm. and lovely, and at the same time, it really reflects what these people are living with in on an isolated island. Um, and I think we often forget that a lot of these artists are extremely um, um, universal in their discussions, mm -hmm. but they do still live in Cuba. So they may be showing in Madrid, they may have studios in Barcelona, or they may be in, in France, um, but um, this is where they live and work, yeah. is in Cuba. And so the messaging is kind of like what they have and what maybe they don't have so much huh. of. And so the exhibit really is very telling, politically, but also historically, and also culturally. Yeah, yeah. well, and it's interesting, it's multimedia as well. We're gonna get to some of these pieces, but give a feel of kind of um, what people can expect to see. Yeah, I think, you know, um, contemporary art's really interesting because artists feel the freedom to use a lot of different objects. Mm -hmm. A lot, um, Some of them are found, some of them are manufactured. The materials and supplies that are in Cuba often dictate what type of artwork can yeah. be put together. Um, so we have a couple of pieces that are made from um, leftover, um, uh, oh, this is a video still. Um, a video still. This it is. is pretty cool. Yeah, we have videos in the exhibition that really explore the nature of movement through space or across waters. It's the notion of kind of leaving the island but never being too far. Yeah. This is a work that deals with the cultural history of the Cuban people, um, kind of um, sacred um, religious discussions taking place in that. That's from our permanent collection, by the way. We actually have a nice beginning from our permanent mm -hmm. collection. This is a, a great painting by a, an important artist in Cuba, and it deals again with kind of this nice seen the floating bottle through the river of uh, the skies it's, it's really a beautiful um, exhibit and the really stories indicative. they could tell the and what better way to do that than yeah. art and that's why I think you know between the the multimedia aspect of this I just think this is so cool yeah. you're bringing really all of this to life in a huge way this weekend with that's your right. gala that you do every year that's also going to have this same Cuban theme which yeah. is just so cool it is you know Tampa Havana Pavilion 31 it's an important opportunity to get that message across that Tampa and Havana have had a long distinct relationship yes. and it ties directly in with the exhibition except it's a lot of fun because we're bringing in a great band from Miami um, we've got um, great food it's all Cuban themed it should be a great party and it is our biggest fundraiser of the year it's black tie it's formal but it's fun yeah, and, and we're looking at some of the there's the guy that's gonna be there which yeah. again this is a big deal to have him come in Tampa yeah. or come to Tampa yeah Marlo Rosado he is a two-time Grammy Award winner it's a wonderful opportunity to listen to a great band. He's bringing his orchestra of 10 pieces with him. Oh, cool. Should be a lot of fun dancing. Whether you're not a salsa yeah. or not, everyone's going to have a great time. And it's going to be a beautiful night. Of course, we hold this on our terrace right outside the museum, outside, right on the Hillsborough River. It's a beautiful evening. Tickets still available? Can people just show up that night? Yeah. Do you need to, dr how do people dress to this? Oh, no, you can't just show up that night, but tickets are still <laughs> okay, available. So you, can get them them on, you can get them online or call the museum. We're happy to accommodate you, but it should be really a great evening. Uh, it sounds like it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much again. Uh, just a thank wonderful you. exhibit going on right now and then a great event to tie in with it. And uh, we really appreciate you being here this morning. Thanks. Again, we'll make sure and we'll put the info on our website as well. So thank you. I appreciate it. All right. We'll send it.